I'm very honored to be part of the symposium uh, and uh, be moderating the mild cognitive and apathy session. So the question is, what is mild cognitive impairment? Mild cognitive impairment is a disturbance of cognition that is not affecting the functioning of the person, but it is a lower functioning than what the person used to have. That is, um, if a person was uh, uh, working and was able to multitask and was able to do many things at the same time, could uh, plan. Now these functions are more impaired. That's particularly what we call executive dysfunction. However, there are at times problems with memory, people that cannot recall events that occur or problems visual specially. For example, people that have difficulty going through different areas of the city or have difficulty uh, copying uh, things that obviously were uh, completely normal for that person, but still do not affect their activities of daily living or even at work minimally affect their functioning. It is an important uh, period of, uh, it is an important diagnosis because uh, mild cognitive impairment could be a transition to dementia. It is uh, known that dementia occurs in five times more frequent in Parkinson's disease than in the general population. Uh, mild cognitive impairment occur uh, approximately in 30 to 40 percent of the patients with Parkinson's disease and we can even diagnose it early in the course of the illness. It is uh, important although we do not have specific treatments other than cognitive therapies that are being experimental at the present time but may have uh, significant um, therapeutic uh, benefit although that is to be known um, and that needs to be shown in the future. So how do we diagnose uh, mild cognitive impairment? We usually diagnose with tests that are um, written in a paper, that are paper and pencil. So we show, for example, uh, images that correspond to different objects and we ask a person to say what they are or we can ask a person to draw a clock or to draw uh, some other object. Uh, we ask them to remember five words that do not have anything to do with each other, um, things like that. That would be like a minimal uh, test. And this brief test may take 10 minutes or so. But then there are tests that are mar much more in depth this test may take three to four hours, but again, they are also uh, paper and pencil. And this uh, is extremely important to get this diagnosis because the person needs to know what are their limitations so they can function better and can tr try to improve in any of the deficits that are identified. It's not something to be and happy about it is something, another challenge that someone has and needs to overcome.